I think the most interesting thing is the fact of the conference itself. I think it sends a very loud signal that the four leading central bankers of the world sat on stage for an hour and 45 minutes not to talk about what's going to happen to interest rates tomorrow, is inflation 1.7 or 2.0 percent, but about communications. We're communicating to people first. We have to do it in a way that's complementary to other stakeholders and the experts, if you will. Uh, but crafting the communication so that it's open, accessible, understandable, and effective uh, for the citizens we serve. We agreed as a committee that what we want to do is explain to the public um, the committee's goals and strategies for achieving them. The transparency is an integral component of accountability. It's a duty, no question about that. Transparency is also to be welcome because it improves dramatically the transmission of monetary policy. More transparency and communication is generally better in terms of promoting accountability and policy effectiveness. Central banks are in a very specific position because they are independent, and this is a good thing, if they realize that uh, the other side of the coin is to be even more responsible than the ones who are directly accountable in front of parliaments. Communication cannot substitute for policy. We are still principally working the MEN channels. The M here now is markets, the E is economists, and the N is news agencies. Using existing information intermediaries as our conduit to the broader public and then that, I think, needs to change. Jargon, by definition, creates distance. It creates the higher level and the below, and it basically shows that, you know, them versus us. There are so many new tools that central banks have tried and that are still not fully understood. Um, but what is clear is that they are immensely important. Uh, they really substitute for some of the traditional tools that central banks have used, and therefore communication is here to stay.